Hiya boys and girls, I'm having a pyjama day today because um, I want to just get all cosy and um, I've got something really special to show you. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is this box here and this is what I call a memory box and inside here are all the fantastic things that my daughter made when she was at school and all my special memories of when she was a baby so there are some really special cards that I couldn't get rid of in here. Um, I think there's a, a mould of one of her feet. Of uh, I think I think there's a mould of her feet and her hands in here. Special cast. Um, I also think that there's a balloon as well. So I'm going to take a sneaky peek right now. And I know this one's my daughter's special memory box. Oh, look at this. Yeah. So I was right. But look at these, how cute, how cute are they? So they probably were a pair of her shoes, I'm guessing. And then we have our champagne cork. Yeah, it's got champagne written on it. And um, we probably opened a bottle of champagne to celebrate her birth. So that's really important. And then I've got lots of cards lots and lots of them oh my goodness oh i'm so excited so we do we kept her balloon oh look at this oh wow <laughs> it's a girl we've got another box over here and what i'd like you to do is save any boxes that come to your home and decorate them and i'd like you guys to create your own memory box I think that would be really really nice and then you can put some things in that you don't want to throw away you might want to put in a special birthday card maybe from one of the grown-ups maybe they wrote something really special to you and you just might want to do that so this is another memory box here but this is the one that my daughter made herself here we go, if you can see this. So it's her memory box and she's painted it and done all sorts of different sort of designs all the way around it. So you could get maybe the grown-ups to help you just create a lid with your box so it has a lid on it and then you can decorate it and call it a memory box. But today, you know, I am in my pyjamas because what I wanted to do was have a really good read of everything that's in here and one of the things that might be really nice for you guys to do is get your grown-ups to get your memory boxes out of the loft or out of storage wherever they're kept and maybe just snuggle up on the sofa with somebody that you really really love and just get them to go through the memory box with you and this is something that probably we're always too busy to do but we always would really think, oh, one day we'll do this and it would be a really nice thing to do. Well, we've been given an opportunity, boys and gals, to actually do it. So go and grab your grown-ups and say you want to look at your memory box from when you was a baby and get your parents or your grown-ups to go through that with you. And one of the other things that I'd like you to do is sit and watch some videos, but with you in them. Because I'm guessing that the grown-ups took absolutely hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of photographs or video recordings of you and you were the star of the show. You really was the star of the show. Um, so yeah, get your grown-ups to get the videos out and the photographs and sit and look at yourselves when you were the star of the show. What all the lovely efforts that your grown-ups went to to record all of those very, very special moments. And you might just select birthdays. You might want to look at if you were christened, you might want to have a look at that. Um, you might want to look at the day you were born or you might have something else in mind. But what I'd also like you to do is select one fantastic fab photograph and send it to me. And then I'll show that on the next day. So guys, I'm going to have fun. As I say, I'm in my pyjamas. I don't care. I'm not getting dressed today. Nobody's coming to the door. 
got all the time in the world and I'm just going to really chill and enjoy looking at my children's memory boxes. So have fun with this today. So this one's a really cool craft activity. Um, yet again, when all the parcels arrive at your house or if any parcels arrive at your house, then do use the cardboard boxes. Alternatively, you can just maybe stick some paper together and maybe use your cereal cartons just to put at the back of it. Um, so you might just need one of the grown-ups to help you um, just to get the shape of your guitar. So you could look online, you could Google and look at images and decide which shape that you want or you could just copy mine and literally all we did well all I did was I literally um, just painted the background here and then just put some dots around it and then this is a separate piece of paper here that I'd glued on and then I've just used some string uh, here just some ordinary string and then just as you can see just some black tape or if you don't want to use black tape I've just used some cellar tape across here um, and then you could either use some string or some wool. I've got some lovely ribbon here. So just get an adult to put a little hole in there and a hole in the top here. And um, yeah, you've got your guitar that you can use like Raven did the other day when uh, she was in the audience, wasn't she? She was a special guest appearance at the magic show. Uh, so yeah, you can do that. So if you like this, obviously you can change the colours. But um, lovely craft activity, something that you can play with again later. Um, just to think outside the box as well. Was, I mean, some of you just might decide that oh, I don't really like the colour and I wanted something different. Well, you can always turn it over and you could do a different design and different colours on the back. And then depending on your mood and how you feel that day, you've got two completely different guitars, haven't you? So just try and use your imagination, children, because you've all got brilliant imaginations and have fun with this. Let's do this.